The market suffered its biggest down week since October. The NASDAQ Composite Index dropped 4%. Uh, the S&P 5 fell 3.4%. The Dow was down 2.8%, and the Russell lost over 5%. As far as the model goes, we gained 2.8% for the week. We're up 144.6% year to date. That's 162% better than our benchmark comparison of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ by 174 percentage points. If you like uh, to see how we do it at G3 Investors, just sign up here. Uh, put that in your browser. It only costs $20 a month. Okay, let's turn to the to the market. This is a two-year look of the weekly chart of the NASDAQ Composite Index. And you can see that it remains in correction territory below this solid red line here. That's its 20-week 20, 20 moving average, or that, which is the equivalent to a 200-day moving average. And it hasn't even made it above the, the 23.6 fib. Fib retracement here still remains below that. So uh, it is in pretty bad shape, really. And if we look at a, a one year daily chart here, you can see that you know, support is around 10,800. And uh, breakout of this little sideways consolidation would be around 11.6. And the 200 or the 200 day is around almost 12,000. We look at the S&P 500. We can see that it's just below its 50 day or 200 day moving average as well. And I don't show it here on the retracement. I can. Yeah, it's it's just below. It's 32. Point 8% retracement and support is around 3,900 and for it to break out it get it have to give above 4,100 to break out of this sideways range and then to to start a new uptrend it would have to get above 4,300 here this this prior peak in my humble opinion we have four ETFs that remain in bullish territory, we'll take a look at them. XLV, that is healthcare. You can see we've had a a, a golden cross here where the 50-day has crossed above the 200-day, and it's a pretty strong-looking chart. We would get back in it at 140.50, and we have been in it and made some money on that one. XLI on the long side. XLI is the industrial sector. Getting ready to do a golden cross, it looks like. Uh, kind of stalling here, just above or just below that peak, but still in pretty good shape. Uh, ITA, that is defense. And again, another golden cross here with the 50 going above the 200, and it's in pretty good shape. They're really just just bounced off of 52-week highs here. And the one position we have is in silver, high-O silver. This one's just broke out, so we took a position in it at 2025. Uh, we've made some money on this little move here. Looks like it wants to keep going up there. Wouldn't make me mad if it just go up there and test that 2475. That's what I'd like to see it do at any rate. That's about it. Uh, really, everything else is either at or below its 200-day moving average. So we've got a market that's still in correction. Well, let's take a heat map. Uh, take a heat map. Let's take a look at the heat map uh, of the S&P 500 before we go here. Okay, what we got? Oh boy. Well, the tech stocks and the, the FANG stocks, if you will, just re completely reversed their position this week from last week. Last week, they ruled the market up, and this week, they're rolling it down. There's Google down 7.6%, Amazon 5.35%, Tesla down 8%, Walmart down 
point. And there's Meta down six. Apple and Microsoft down also. There's the big banks. Bank of America down 10.26%. Pen. Uh, Wells Fargo down 7.5%. And then there's Chevron. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chevron's off 7.2%. And Exxon is down 5.75%. Uh, there's very little green on the screen, as you can see. So this market has a lot of work to do. Well, that's all for this week's video. I'm Greg Gallagher. I'm wishing you good luck and good trading.